Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rock and roll. <coughs> Four minute men. Propaganda first. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so my propaganda is right here. <laughs> and basically, you got this guy giving a speech. And he's telling all these men that uh, today your fellow soldiers fight for you, help them by jo joining. And then you got this guy. I don't really know who he is. He's like a soldier pointing. And then you got him. And you got the Statue of Liberty pointing at you. And then you got a bunch of shoulders shooting. And the guy's giving a speech of why they should join the war. Okay. I got mine here. As a person who's giving a speech and has in front of a crowd talking about how we should conserve our fuel for the soldiers so they don't have to run everywhere. Yeah. And basically, yeah. Okay, who's got a question for the four minute man? Devin. Uh, well, oh, four, oh, four, four minute men stand for the men that gave four minute speeches that, uh, was for war, was, yeah, they supported it. So they went around and gave, like, short four minute roughly speeches about why you should join, why you should enlist. There was, we did about 1.7 million speeches. That's awesome. I have a question. Are there just four of them? Uh, no. Then most of them were volunteers from our, from Woodrow Wilson to give speeches. How did World War One affect this group? Well, okay. World War One affected this group by giving them jobs so they have money, basically. How about their patriotism? Like a way to help the war, right? Yeah, it was a way to get your patriotism up. Anybody else have a question for the four minute one? In what ways did this group support the war? Um, they gave speeches, four minute mostly, <laughs> like short speeches to catch up on what was happening and why people like the men should join the war. Causes, good causes. Yeah, they were just short and sweet. They made new ones every time, though. Did they ever kill anybody that didn't go into the war? I cannot say. Can you? Okay, any other questions for the four minute men? Okay, thank you, four minute men. Let's give them two ready. Okay, American families are up, federal government officials. That's me. That's me, right? And then, who's African American leader? You guys are in the hole, so you're two away. Okay, here we go. So, I was American Families, and this is my propaganda. It says, help win this war, and food will win this war. Um, Well-fed soldiers will win this war. Ration your food, participate in meatless Mondays, wheatless Wednesdays, and heatless Mondays, etc. So basically, they thought that by rationing your food, we would win this war. Because if you rationed your food, um, the soldiers would have more food. Or rationed your energy, like your heatless Mondays, the soldiers would have more stuff, resources to win the war. Any questions? Yes. Did all American families support the war? Not all American families. Or would you say most? Most. Okay. That's going to be on your quiz. Did How you did what, what, was it? what did that end? What did he say they were doing at home? Well, they were thrashing food. Did it help? Or? Yeah, because then the soldiers had more stuff. What else did families have to <laughs> give up, literally? Their children. Mm -hmm. Their sons. Did some parents encourage their kids to join? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to make your dad glad he made such a lie? Yeah.
They're all most family supportive. Yeah. Is that it? Um, is this a multiple choice kind of test? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Now, who? Anyone else have a question for African American leaders? Okay, how about let's first of all give the African American leaders two ready. So, next, migrants. Sorry. There you go, bud. Well, our propaganda is African-American migrants, and mine was a picture of a black army guy, and it says, maybe if I do this, I'll get some rights, because they weren't treated that well back that time, and Yep, so. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mine is a factory that says still an auto factory. And it says war equals jobs because as long as the war was going on, they needed war materials, which in the north opened up a lot of job opportunities in the factories because European migrants weren't coming over anymore. So the blacks went over and started and then up here, there's like little location things with newspapers that say help one night in the north. So a bunch of black people went, African Americans went north to get those jobs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Questions for African American migrants? Yeah. Did that group support or? Support yeah, they did support the war. We supported the war very much, What? Polly? Because the black people had no rights like to begin with. We were slaves and everybody hated us. But it opened up job opportunities for the black people to go and fight for America. And a lot of them moved to the north where they were treated That is fairly true. Do you think white people said they took our jobs? Do a lot of those northern cities have large African American populations today? Yes. Yeah. Chicago, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Detroit. Yeah. How did your group support the war? They joined and fought. And the ones who stayed home, why'd they move to the north? Um, to, to get make jobs. war materials from the factories. They got jobs in the factories. Without those jobs in the factories, there is no war, right? Yeah. Any other questions for African American migrants? Okay, let's give them two ready. Thank you. Team McAdams, you're up next. I trust you. <laughs> So we are the foreign immigrants, and my propaganda was like, show your loyalty to Lady Liberty, because they wanted to like, basically show that they were loyal to their adoptive country, and that's like why they supported the war. And um, but like some were like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Like confused or. They believe that they were spies, I guess, oh, yeah. because um, like they were from foreign countries, like from Europe and stuff. So, like, <laughs> like would people if, be suspicious of yeah, Americans? yeah. So they thought they were yeah. spies, and they got lynched and stuff, and mobs chased them, and yeah, and you know. to support the war. They asked people to, uh, you know, buy U.S. bonds to support the war, and then they got jobs and factories. 
with companies that did support the war. They also like promoted like supporting the conservatives because they were mostly pro war too. So. Like blacks, do you think some wanted to prove their loyalty and join up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Any other questions for foreign immigrants? Okay, let's give them two. Ready? I'll let you pass it again. Last but not least, the best name, one you've never heard of, the Waffle Still in Photoshop. So, hello. I am part of the Wobblies. And for my uh, propaganda, it's a German machine, or uh, yeah, German machine gun group, I'd say, in a trench in a war torn area. And it says, Maxim will cut or will chop you down like the rest. Stay at home and work. That's what best. Because wobblies were basically the industrial workers of the world. And we didn't, or we opposed the war because the draft was sending in people who were just working to their death, basically. So the wobblies were basically union workers in factories, right? Yeah. Why would factory workers be against the war? Because aren't factories going to have a lot of business and make a lot of money? Mm -hmm. But who makes the money when the factory is selling them? Big company. The owner. Are the factory workers going to get rich? No. The owners. So the pacifists were against the war for moral and religious reasons. They just don't believe in fighting. The wobblies are against the war for <clears throat> economic reasons. Basically, the boss man will get rich, and the only reason we're in this war is to make money. So some of them went on strike. Some of them refused to make war goods. Yeah, factory workers saying we don't want to work for the war. In Montana, in a town by the name of Butte, Montana, right? Yeah, which has a huge copper mine and is a strong union town. The union worker of the Wobbly said, let's go on strike, and a uh, group of vigilantes got on their horses and went out and grabbed the guy and strung him up and hung him from a tree for going on strike. And a bunch of them got sent to prison for refusing to work. So, like the pacifists, they're totally against the war, but for different reasons. Economic reasons, not moral reasons. Anybody else need something clarified? Um, you good? Yeah, I was looking at that one. I hope you know that one. Okay, let's give the Wobblies two. Ready? Okay, now, we're going to take the quiz, which is in Canvas. You use that chart you just made. If you have not already done so, what do you need to do with your propaganda? Get it into Canvas. If it's on paper, how can we do that? Take a picture and submit it to Canvas. If it's digital, save it as a file I can open, like PNG or JPEG or PDF. Don't do a PSD. Okay? And upload it into Canvas. So your job is now we're going to open our quiz in Canvas. On your own, we're going to take that. Use your chart and anything else you want. If you're confused, ask me if you have a question, and I will unconfuse you. When your chart and quiz are done, submit your propaganda, and then you're good to go.